Okay guys, as you can see, she's a little scratched up, a little faded in certain areas, so we're just going to polish over it. Um, and I'm, I have two colors to choose from, chili red or red. I'm gonna go with red, and first you need to prep the bag, so um, you have to put this little stuff on there. You could also use nail polish remover, but it's up to you. Don't blame me for no mishaps, because I am not responsible for anything that you do to your bags. Okay. Let's go. Okay, and just a little tip, whenever you're painting your bag, know that you have to do it in layers. You're not going to be able to just put one coat on, slap another coat on, and it'd be the end all be all. It is up to how bad the bag is, I guess you could say. Um, because like anything, when you paint a room, right, if you had a black wall and you decide you want a white wall, one, two coats isn't going to do it. So just... See, make sure that you're doing as many coats as you need. You don't want it to be too caked on, but make sure that you're doing enough so that you're not able to just see through it. So if it looks streaky, it's probably because you can see through the other layer. If you're brushing all the paint streaks out, it shouldn't be clumpy or lumpy or nothing like that. You shouldn't just be slapping on paint. But anyways, like I said, if you can see through it, you see little streaks and stuff like that, you probably need another layer of paint because you're able to see through the, through the coat. And that's my tip. I feel like I keep forgetting like little small things, but if you happen to get paint on your hardware, literally at the very end, you could just go in and wipe it off. It wipes off. Don't think it's the end all be all, but I would say use smaller brushes when you're brushing around your hardware, just so you don't have to go in and start scraping it off with your little nail or whatever, just so it's less work. Make it easier on yourself. Use a small brush, but it's not the end of the world. Just wipe it off. Keep it moving. All right, and if you can tell, I painted the flap. I have not painted the rest of the little body yet, so there is a difference. One is like luscious red, and the other one is still a little faded, but we're gonna work on that. Okay, another little pro tip, whenever you are starting to paint your bag, make sure that you're keeping your brush strokes consistent. If you are going left to right, stay left to right. Don't start switching up going up and down, up and down, and you was just doing left to right because when those layers dry, it's drying in that, I guess, like that pattern. So whenever I was originally brushing it in circles, it, dry, it dried up and it, I had little circle all around the bag so then I switched it up and I just went left and right left and right and it is it's good 
but stick to one. Don't start going crazy. Okay, after we have waited like a whole 24 hours for this thing to dry and set, you are going to seal your bag. You can do it with a matte top coat if you'd like, or you could do it with a sheen, which makes the bag a little shiny. This bag was already shiny. She got a little dull, a little faded, whatever. That wasn't my problem. But anyways, <laughs> she used to be um, shiny, so I ended up just coating her with a sheen. This way, the color doesn't transfer onto your clothes or anything like that, and it just seals the bag and makes it pretty. Boom. That's that. Okay, and I wanted to slap this little baby on here just so you guys can be able to see the difference with the sheen top coat that's on the top of the bag and then it not having a coat on at all. So it's kind of like ultra shiny and kind of whatever. <laughs> it's up to you. Again, I was just restoring the bag to her original form. If you want to explore, do something different, do something wild and crazy with your bag, you can do that. I'm just doing a little purse restoration over here. You want to add some character to yours you can do that moving on i just wanted to be able to show you the difference all right bye
And voila, we went from faded, scratched, and a little sad, <laughs> looking a little more pre-loved than we would like, to, um, yeah, this is just a closer look so you can really see how faded she was, but to a nice, vibrant, what is it, like fire engine red? Whatever you want to pick. Now she's beautiful, back and restored. So follow, like, comment, subscribe, or I don't know, see you next time, whatever. <laughs> Let me know what else you're interested in. Toodles.